This video explains how to convert dates into seasons using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a vector of dates, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new vector object is appearing at the top right, which is called my dates. And please note that we have created this vector object using the sDate function, because it's important to specify our vector of dates as the date class. And next, we can also print our vector of dates by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector containing six different dates. So for instance, the first date contains the 1st of October, 2022. Now let's assume that we want to convert this vector of dates into a vector that contains the corresponding seasons to each of our dates. Then we can use the functions of the Hydro TSM package. And in order to be able to use these functions, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines seven and eight of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line eight of the code. And then in the next step, we can use the time to seasons function, which is provided by the Hydro TSM package. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of our vector of dates. So in this case, this vector is called my dates. And then we need to specify the out.fmt argument to be equal to the character string seasons. And in this case, I'm also storing the output of this function in a new data object that I'm calling my seasons. So after running lines 10 and 11 of the code, a new vector object called my seasons is appearing at the top right. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector which contains six elements and each of these elements contains a season that corresponds to the input dates. So for instance, the first input date, the 1st of October, 2022, corresponds to the season autumn. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.